Hello, my dear viewers, and today we actually have the art department. We got her out of that little cabin on the spaceship. I know, impressive. <laughs> Say hi. Hola. <laughs> okay, whatever. Anyway, so, as you people who watch a lot of my videos know, I occasionally do stuff talking about the War of Darkness. You know, like, done, like, two playlists and a meme video or two. Anyway, um, and I wanted to, and Emma happened to be looking, like, what was it, looking on my shoulder or something? I don't remember. You know, I mean, I don't know, spying on me, or doing all work when spying on me, <laughs> is, uh, it was, was, was saying how she wanted to review the changing breeds, aka the different shapeshifters from Where of the Apocalypse, and I am perfectly okay with this. So we set, and, and I, we could have done it about the deep lore, or the f factional, the powers you can play with them, but no, I mean, decided to base it purely on visual standards because artists, am I right? <laughs> I think it's more like women. No, it's just artists. I think it's women. I'm pretty sure it's honest. I think it's women. And anyway, we're not here to debate the history of gender equality. Let's get it started here. But of course, we have to start with the classic where uh, Ron, oh, oh, sorry. We have to start with the classic werewolf. So. <coughs> so what do I think? Yes. Okay. Uh, also, I'm worth mentioning that sometimes they obviously don't all look the same. That's. Okay. Well, we're going to go from human to beast, I suppose. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I would say that the human person kind of looks like Ripley, but if she was actually a lesbian... I thought of the same thing! Or... Yeah. Le lesbian Ripley. Like, uh, in fact, she probably would be a lesbian if she has a kid. But, uh... I'd, that's a really ugly-ass knife, though. I really don't like that knife. And wants to change the knife. <laughs> like, seriously, though. I, I mean, that's not an insult. I mean, I genuinely hate that knife. Uh, but otherwise, the character looks cool. I, I don't like that furry thing... I really don't like that second transformation, that furry thing. Uh, I, I don't like that furry thing. That's just gross. Uh, Can't I just think of like were cat people and that Scooby Doo zombie island thing? Huh. Nasty. Uh, I don't. Not like all it. of them will have this exact thing because some of them I couldn't find good images for. But just assume when you don't see something like this, when the few that don't, just assume they have the same gimmick, okay? Uh, the the big uh, <sighs> the big one, you know, the big furry one is um. It's okay. Yeah. It's cool. I just don't like it, except for less that. I think like, it's pretty clever how they took yeah. all the different ideas of how a werewolf would look like, and then turned them into five different forms. Uh, but the problem is just the, the, the fourth and fifth one are the exact same thing. No, the said. fourth one is supposed to be like a dire wolf. It doesn't show well no, here. No, no, they like the exact same thing. Well, it doesn't show it well here. Also, well, seriously, a dire wolf is a real animal? Well, it's like, a wolf is... A why would you even have it? It's stupid to me. Okay, well, like, it, 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 don't it, defend it to me. I'm, I'm giving my opinion. Okay. I mean, you can defend it. Oh, well, basically, it's the only like, this. Piece... I mean, it's stupid because like dire wolves are real animals, and, well, and, and it, they and they probably weren't that insane. Well, it's not supposed to be specifically a dire wolf. It's supposed to be like kind of like a bigger wolf. The main idea of it is that this orc piece doesn't show well here, but the <laughs> second to last form here, the, the fourth one here, <laughs> it's supposed to be like a it's supposed to be like a bigger scary wolf. Like you know how some werewolf legends are like of like. A, the wolves are bigger or more terrifying. That's yeah. supposed to be that. No, but I have one more question. I mean, yeah. I think it's really stupid because, like, logistically, one dire wolf not scary as a tiger, but whatever. Yeah. I mean, we don't really know that, but yeah. Guess work. Guess work. It, it's almost certain. But my real question is, why is it that the first person looks like pretty dapper, you know, pretty chill, like someone you could leave your kids around, and like the second transformation, everyone after that just like pure pissed. Like, are you <laughs> telling me that like? They can't be super angry when they're in, like, human form? They allocate the rage to when necessary. Okay. What are they, Bruce Banner? Okay, whatever. <laughs> okay, now let's move on to the others because we're four minutes in and we've not even gone past the world. Say hello to the were hyenas. Uh... Ah! Um, that's racist. I mean, there are other besides Africans, and I don't- we don't have to jump there. That's racist. But anyway, uh, like I've seen actually real photos of hyenas before. Why is that like pure hyena? And I'm not even gonna go in the real order. Why is it that 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 last hyena looks like a really fat gopher <laughs> with a monkey's ears and a dog's fluffy? Like, well, that's not a hyena. That's not how hyenas look. Very bad art. Um. Also, what's up with the first dude's hands? Why are your hands like that? I don't know exactly. There's something wrong with his hands. Like, why are you holding like- He looks- He looks like- Actually, he kinda looks like- 
under that uh, cloth he's wearing. It kind of looks like he, like, didn't wipe right when he went to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> he's walking around like that, like, I'm so agitated. <laughs> like, the second one is, it kind of looks like what the 1940s, how they addressed the werewolf. But it's actually accurate to the inspiration 30s. of what they did with that. <laughs> he looks goofy. Uh, the third one looks very bad. Yeah. I think I think hyenas are cute. But uh but yeah, if I saw that though, I would absolutely pee myself. Like if you <laughs> don't know um Amnesia the Dark Descent, you know, had a sequel. It was called Machine for Pigs and everyone was kind of annoyed by how they made pig monsters look. Did they have pig monsters in this? I don't uh, no, actually. Yes! Well, actually, but they did have a hogware creature, but that went extinct in setting. Why don't you show me the extinct one? Because they don't have proper artwork. So I can't really- so I'd have to rely on fan stuff, which I'm trying not to do here. Fine. But anyway. Maybe we'll make a sequel cover. Point being is that the people who didn't think they made pig monsters look scary. If I, if this was a machine for pigs, like machine for hyenas, I'd pee myself. I mean, if I saw it down a dark alley, I'd start running. I'd pee myself. Okay, the second one is also just a giant fat animal. Can't, actually, legit, not a joke, real life giant hogs look scarier than that. Yeah, y'all look a bit different. And the last one literally just looks like a really fat, <laughs> fat animal. Well, I'm not a fan of this one, well, but I really like the third one because it's horrifying. Let's move on to the worst spies, where it's all just a whole bunch of nope, nope, nope. Oh, I remember, I remember, I remember this one. Nope. All I can say over the forums myself is nope, 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 nope. <laughs> yeah, they're all bad. Uh, random thought though, why is it the people who make these things so racist? Like, why do they hate, like, certain kinds of animals? Like, logistically, <laughs> I mean, I'm a girl. Isn't that speciesist, Emma? Kind of my, oh yeah, you're right, the speciesist, uh, thing going on, but, uh, what? It doesn't like, gotta be racist, you know what I mean? Like, oh, I'm sorry, speciesist, the speciesist. <laughs> like, I like to think that this particular spider person has a really lovely personality. They drink blood. Do they need to drink blood? Yes. Okay, well then they can get a donor. It's a medical <laughs> issue! It's a medical condition! Okay, well, to keep it simple, the first lady looks unpleasant. The second lady looks like something, uh, I'm not allowed to say that. Well, it looks like something, uh, adult anime would have in it for very confused people i'm going to need alcohol after this the third one looks <laughs> like not a joke a 1930s no sorry more like 1940s like a horror monster that be done with a puppet you mean the? i think you mean the 50s like attack of the giant insert insect oh well, no it's more before i mean it was a 50 thing but i, I associate more with the 40s 40s had better uh, yeah that's fair monster films i i, I think but, uh, the atomic era but the spider isn't good enough for stop motion now but, uh, and the little spiders are, um, maybe you think of that scene and something wicked this way comes, but that's about it. A lot of they kind of, like, are, are not particular illustrations, they're just kind of, like, stand, like, they're kind of climbing on the third one. Creepy. That, that's cute. Okay, that's all I gotta say. Okay, now, now, let's move on to the werecats. Now, I don't have a terribly good image of them due to reasons I can't disclose, but, um... Well, what do I, I think? I could, well, assume, okay... There are tons of different kind of werecats, lions, tigers, cheetahs, the same deal. Okay, you know what I mean? Yeah. And they kind of have the same deal as the werewolf, so just import your knowledge of that onto these guys. Oh, okay. <laughs> furry! 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 That's all I gotta say. Okay, well, that was quick and easy. Let's move on to the werewavens now. This cute. You ever seen that Mal I mean, I'm talking to the audience, not you, Will, because you're stupid. But, uh, ever, seen, ever seen Maleficent? Uh, that live action movie. In my opinion, it was like I mean I can't think of a better one. It's probably like the best live action Disney remake ever made. Yeah, probably. Oh well, I don't know. I like the Alice in Wonderland thing, but it really wasn't a remake of the original. It was animation. from a different time. It wasn't the same thing. I don't, I don't think it's the same thing. But I, I guess I like the Alice in Wonderland more. But uh, you know, Tim Burton film, even though Tim Burton didn't really direct it. But anyway, um, anyway, he kind of looks like th th there's a character. In that Maleficent movie, that was like that crow on um, Maleficent's shoulder in the original animation. Oh yeah, that guy. Yeah, he, he this, this dude looks like that dude. I would, I, much, I would draw fan art much much like much like. He kind of looks like a looks like a mix between a steampunk guy and a hipster, which is kind of disgusting. Steampunk were ravens. Now that's a book. <laughs> but question: of Why is the raven so big? I think it's supposed to be because if it was smaller, it'd be hard to tell what you were looking at. No, really, like the. 
the second one and the, the third, the, the first and the second one kind of give off the impression that he's like a really short guy. But yeah. why are the Ravens so big? Well, I, I, I mean, like, it kind of makes sense that they had a fourth form where it was like I mean, a big Raven. I mean, serious talk though, has like one character for a, a fantasy idea. I don't know if I've told you. I think I have actually. Like, he like there's a character as part of a species that like a high fantasy species where you can like trans. You're naturally born with the ability to transform the two di like three different things, and one's always a human, and the other two are two different kinds of animals. And that thing, I just made him a wolf and a and a, and a, and a crow and like they're just normal sized animals and that makes more sense because if you're gonna do something fantastical you should make like the the normal thing look normal to make the not normal thing look more abnormal gotta say though the crow thing is kind of horrifying i think it's a reference image it's supposed to be small like normal crow size Whatever. although you did give me the idea now for a story about a, a steampunk were raven so thanks for that uh furry I... wait wait no no okay there's scalies and there's furries this is feathery I think that's the term. I don't know. Mm. We're gonna get so much hate after this. Um, well, let's move no, on to the no were- No one likes furries anyway. Let's move on to the werebears. Okay. Oh. Oh. Ugh. Okay. They usually have a bit more fur. <laughs> oh, I'm thinking. First of all, what's the name for when Americans are being, like, bigoted towards other Americans? Every time the states interact. <laughs> this, like, this is the kind of image that calls a civil war. Like, this is what Northerners think of us, Will. Uh, wouldn't that... I mean... This is bigoted. Generally, people... This is bigoted. From my experience, the... Yeah, I know, there's probably more bears in the North, I think, than there are. But I was also gonna say bears generally are more associated with, like, colder will. Racist. Nope. I mean, West Virginia has plenty of bears, but... And it's like Alaskan hate. Seriously, this is bigoted. Uh, I, I like that it's really big, but I think the... the Stonks. The, the, the fourth one looks really stupid. Yeah, it's supposed to be a big bear, because you know, a bear isn't already huge. I think I think the fourth one looks stupid. I'll cut that out, in fact, I think I'll cut out all the fourth ones. Probably. You give one to the crows? <laughs> no, no, the crows are fine. I just don't get why the crows so big. It's not supposed to be that's an art issue. Are they a crow or a raven? They can be both. In the <laughs> setting, they, they just come out, they can be either. Well, if they're a crow, point. then it would be like... A, a just giant crow sits next to a normal crow, and normal crow's like, I'm not, I'm not messing with that. <laughs> mm -mm. And yes, I, like I checked, the werewaves cannot have blue jays in their group, which is very sad, very sad. That's oh, BS. Also, we, we're talking also, about- what's up with the tribal markings? Oh, they're very tribalistic in the setting. Bears? Are... They're all into that spiritual stuff. Uh, that's big good. Okay, let's move on. Okay, time for the werefoxes, aka the kitsune. Yes, it's uh, based on Japan, and if you didn't ca catch that reference, then you were an idiot. <laughs> this is kind of stupid. Um, I, I've always been confused when people think foxes are sexy. Like, <laughs> I mean, I don't get it either. I mean, I, 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 maybe, I, I'm gonna blame, I think it's actually a cultural phenomenon. If you don't know, uh, how do I censor this? Foxes are kind of known for when it's mating season, You, if you live around foxes, you know. Drawing. You know. You hear them. So, like, maybe that's why. But I gotta say, I don't understand why people think foxes are attractive. I think they're very beautiful animals. But, you know, they got, like, a really appealing look to them. Now, I gotta I mean, say... I like all canines. I think part. that the second transformation is disgusting. I don't like Man. looking at that. That <laughs> looks like Space Jam 2 nonsense BS. <laughs> I really hate that thing. Um, and this is getting another good reason why I don't like furries. I don't like that the third form has that stupid piece of hair count on the back. And I don't like the way it has a feminine form while all the other female forms don't have... A, like, the, the, the female character designs don't have that. Kind of makes me want to vomit, quite frankly. But I will say this. I kind of sort of like the fourth one a little bit. Yeah. Because it's like a fox, but it's more wolfy. Yeah. That's cool. Okay, um, that's fair enough. But that's kind of cool. Kinda I kind of like cool. how the Werefighter looks more mundane, because in setting, they don't they don't have some of the mechanics the other ones do, so that's why they look a bit more mundane. But I really don't want the second one. That's some space jam. Yeah, it kind of looks like a bad image. Let's move on to the Were Dinosaur Dragon things. Now, this image I have to give some <sighs> small context to. It's a, There's a lot of variation within the Moke, the Moke, I believe they're called, in Babak pronunciation, okay? That's why I call them by the animal they turn into, okay? But, um, is that they can turn basically in between to any 
lizard, really. They ain't lizard in the modern day. And the whole dinosaur dragon form, which can, well, be like dinosaurs or dragons and that kind of thing. So this art is a representation of, like, one, okay? So that's like a frame of reference you have to understand here. Anyway, your thoughts and opinions? I'm always down for a lizard person. So, the <laughs> second one's, um, pretty good. I don't know. Not my kind of lizard person, but, you know, I'm game. It kind of looks like a GameCube, like, big, like, so, you know, if you're playing a fighter game? Yeah. There would be, like, the the little enemies, and then there will be the bosses, but in between there will be, like, those things. Kind of like those Devil May Cry, sort of. Like, yeah. I could totally see these being, like, enemies, like, in some kind of, like, a stage or an entire game on the GameCube. Like, like the humans, like, the low-level monk. They're, like, some even lower-level animals that you fight in a certain section. And these are, like, the, not the mid-bosses, but, like, slightly tougher enemies during during a stage or game. Yeah, but uh, he looks, uh, the second stage looks cool. Yeah. I like that. <sighs> It's pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. I don't like the third, first guy, though. He looks kind of, he looks like someone needs to kick him in the crotch. <laughs> Actually, speaking of crotch, why is this, like, pants trying to revert back into his body? <laughs> it kind of looks like, it kind of looks like his crotch the, is the eating pants, his The pants are shapeshifter, is a shapeshifter, too. I like to think that this is actually a series of events. Like, okay, for example, this, like, this, this is like a transformation. Ever see Animorphs? Like, do Bring that up in our presence. <laughs> it's like Animorphs. Like, so I had one, this guy was like about to fight, and suddenly his purple jeans started averting back into his, like, wee wee. And it was so painful that he, like, transformed into his crocodile for to avoid it, right? <laughs> but, like, afterwards, because if you look there, you can't, you notice he doesn't have anything below, right? Which kind of makes sense, actually, because lizards don't have don't. visible. You know, we know, I'm not gonna say it. But, like, which implies to me that the, that the gene attack was so violent that he lost all his privates. <laughs> <laughs> and that was so sad and so tragic. He transformed into a crocodile just to get away from the pain. Deep lore, you know, deep we, lore for this character. Like that, that last one is just like he was so like sad and he no he wasn't even meant he doesn't even know how to turn into a crocodile. He was just so sad he turned into a crocodile. <laughs> like you know how in, like Celtic mythology and that you just legend, turn to a fish sometimes. Yeah, he's, he's turned to a fish. Like it's like, <laughs> like a, this guy was has it's so not even sorrow. connected to his powers. He had so much sorrow he just turned to a crocodile. And then presumably ate other people's you know what. <laughs> exactly. Hey, we should probably move on. Uh, hey, this is these are the wear snakes. Say hi. Oh, and also as a small reference, um, there isn't a human one in this image, but just assume normal human. They also have a normal human form, so just assume that. Hmm. Hmm. I kind of like the second one. It kind of makes you want to vomit a little bit. Honestly, the second... Which, you mean like the second one is in the one on the far left or the one in the middle? Oh, okay, yeah. The first one. No, the first one. I like the first one. It makes you want to vomit. Yeah. Um, I don't really understand why you need the the second and the third one, though. They're, like, the same damn thing. If I had to guess, the third okay. one is supposed to be kind of, like, a big snake, but they didn't do a terribly good job of representing that. I don't really like the third one. I would think the Tam Boa or something. I don't like the third one, but I, I, the, 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 the first and the second one kind of make you think of Lego like, Ninjago snake. I was, I was thinking the same thing. Except for, like, scarier. Like, you're doing scary Ninjago. No, no, if Ninjago wasn't Legos. It'd be like if Ninjago wasn't Legos. Yeah, but that'd be, that, that's a little too scary. Like, the first one would be like when they, when those like Jay and his parents got bit and were trying to no, that'd, that'd be them. Uh, that's really scary, though. But, uh... And snake's just a snake. But yeah, well, I would get rid of the third one because it's very, really useless. But yeah, he's, the third one still looks cool. Yeah, and, I'm assuming, and you know it's a snake, right? Yeah, but who cares? It's a snake. It's a snack. I like snakes. Snakes uh, are cute animals. They, uh, yeah, I like black rat snakes. I like all snakes. And here's Coyote. Once again, same deal. They have a very- Kill them! I hate coyotes! They're bad! All coyotes are bad. <laughs> evil. It's a really beautiful coyote. But, like, all coyotes are not free. All coyotes <laughs> are evil and, and bad and, and bad. And we need to we need to put a kibosh on coyotes in America. Quite frankly, we need to kill all coyotes in America. One time I got in this fight on Discord where people were saying, <laughs> like, uh, oh, Well, they're native now, so you shouldn't- They're not fucking native now! Like, uh, kill them all! <laughs> kill them all! <laughs> you know, Kaibosh, I, I, I hope this doesn't sound bad because that coyote right there is wearing like Native American garb. But kill them all! <laughs> Wipe them out! Like, uh, oh, I'm going to get so like, much flack for this video. Listen, I didn't put the coyote in the Native American garb. But actually, I do really love Native American. It kind of looks a little bit more like, you know, like Southern Mexican. You know, I actually see that. 
Like so the Mexican coyote wear coyotes versus steampunk wear Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Hey, hey, yeah, hey. Yeah. Cowboys yeah. versus mutant coyote furries. Write that down, write that down. <laughs> like, okay, like you know what like t Tennesseans that are coming down near Mexico to do some beeswax, right? The <laughs> beeswax. And and then they meet and then they accidentally find this tribe of maybe skinwalkers. But for some reason, they're usually like furries, and uh, but they don't have to only be furries. When you do dark magic, weird stuff always ends up. And, and maybe they fight the uh, coyote furry skinwalkers. Maybe they're not skinwalkers, but they could be inspired by skinwalkers. Skinwalkers are pretty interesting, and and they're yeah, they're kind of creepy. They actually kind of like tie. It's kind of funny because they kind of tie into like old, really old. Um, tribal religions and also Christianity in a weird way. I never heard about the Christianity reference. Uh, to tell about it's, the a, it's a Mexican thing, but like a, I mean, like an actual Mexican thing. Interesting. Like interesting. A, I mean, you'll you have know, to tell like, more of this. Okay, next one. Sorry for the interruption. Now, what do you think of the were rats? Uh, rats, rats. rats. Where are the rats? rats? <laughs> we pray at night. We stalk at night. Where are the rats? Who makes all of the rules? Okay, we need to be careful but before I get, get copyright problems again. I don't think it had copyright. Okay, well, first of all, this is pretty specious. It's, <laughs> like, seriously, why do you make the guy look evil? Because he's a were rat. <laughs> like I said, I'm kind of a girl, so I, I like the idea of species not being. Unless, listen, you know the whole Tolkien thing where he couldn't, like, justify a species really being evil, so he just kind of purposely didn't flesh out the orc that much? I actually don't have a problem with species being evil, but I don't like the idea of a species that looks human being fully evil. Or at the very yeah. least not be- like, at the very least, maybe they're inherently pulling towards evil, but they're not- they don't have to be evil. I mean, evil. aren't humans also inherently pulled towards evil to a degree? Yeah, no, it's like, uh, so it's kind of like that, you know? I, 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 I think it'd be kind of funny if there is a group of people, like in this fantasy world or whatever, that- looked that effed up like because like look, look look at that second transformation that's horrifying yeah that's horrifying Stuff nightmares like it but like i like the idea of like them as a person just look like a person they can even look like a gross person for all i care but <laughs> i just like I, I like but like he looks evil i don't like that i like the idea, the idea of him just looking like a person like a person person it kind of looks like he should be the second stage you know how actually most... can, you, can you imagine if there's like a whole world where like and, 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 and this sounds like an anime plot, so I'm not, I'm not suggesting it. But <laughs> I am suggesting it. What if, like, you live in a society where, like, all these where things existed? Yeah. Like, and, like, but, like, you, people, like, it's kind of considered, like, bad form to, like, ever transform in front of other people. Like, unless, like, you're in a life or death situation. So, like, imagine you're trying to, like, imagine trying to be a robber in this world. So, like, <laughs> like you, you walk over to someone's car, right? You point, a, like, a knife at them or whatever if you're in yeah. England. And you're like, you point and you're like, okay, give me all your money. And, and they kind of look at you for a second, they're shocked. And then they, like, give you a little, like, smile, and they're like, oh, baby. And it totally turns into a giant bear monster. <laughs> like it. Like it. Like, can you just imagine... Can you just imagine? It'd be oh, like Zootopia, but cool. I mean, it's not a first date thing. It's like, oh, like you're just like you're like you're like talking to someone. They're real nice, you know. They got your beliefs, you know. They you got your theirs, you know. You're really fetching, you know. And they're like, and, and then you're like, and then you're like, you get to the really controversial topic. It's like religion, you know. It's like something you just gotta tell people, like. Yeah. And you're like, okay, so, do you are are you one of those transforming people, you know? Yeah. And I'm like, yes. <laughs> like, yeah. uh, and and he get, they just gets you a little bit nervous, and you're like, what kind? And they kind of, like, you know, fill their hands a little bit, you know, and they're like, a rat. <laughs> a rat. <laughs> a rat person. A rat. And you look at them, and your face gets really red, and you go, oh, I'm into that. Like a... I mean, All these movie. things will be made into comics one day. I just want I to like the you. spine though. That's I, really creepy. I mean, it could be spine. It kind of doesn't look like the other ones look kind of like natural in a magical kind of way. This looks like it came out of some abominable lab experiment. Like some humans were messing with things okay. they probably shouldn't. So like, I, I, I don't, the tail's kind of freaky actually. Because if you don't know, there's this guy who um I mean, is years ago, but he's probably still alive. Who like was born with a medical condition somewhere in. 
maybe near India. I don't really know. Mm-hmm. Like, don't quote me at all. But, but I, I don't even know what I'm saying because I'm recording. But, uh, and, and like, he was born with a tail? Okay, so, it, it's a weird thing. Like, he literally had a tail right where his butt was. It was just actually what it was with a, a weird effed up piece of skin that, like, it was actually a tail, not a joke. I, My, I can show you a photo. It's literally, he literally has a tail. It's just, like, this tiny weird piece of flesh that's on his back. Charming. I think, I don't know if they ever tried to cut it off or not. But anyway, I mean, not like it would be a heart procedure. But anyway, it, like, literally people, like, treated him like some kind of scary deity. Like, from the moment he was born, because he had a weird tail. When you have two extra vertebrae and people think you're a god. I mean, actually, people are kind of, like, have a place for a tail on their uh, butt, believe it or not. Uh, tailbone. And, uh, yeah, but, like, it's not a joke, actually. It's, it, it, like, that it, it is kind of, you can actually have it as a tail. Yeah. Anyway, that, that, that second transformation tail kind of makes me think of it. Yeah, I can actually see where you're going I'm going to show you a photo. So, I've saved the last for last, and some people say the best, because people in the World Darkest community have a real love for the were sharks for reasons I don't fully understand. What do they call it? Fishies? Are they just falling to scalies? No, no. Scalies are lizard people. Come okay. on. I'm a scaly. Don't don't confuse me with that community. Anyway. anyway. Oh, ooh, ooh, screw that. Okay. Um. I think they might be one of the most terrifying. The first one looks like that guy you'd meet in prison. <laughs> like, like a, uh, another thing that would happen in the world where people could just turn into animals, you know? Yeah. Like, a, I've heard a story, like, it, 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 this is a YouTuber called Bearing. I know you know this well, but I'm saying it's for the channel. Yeah. And one time, he randomly told a story about how he walked into the bathroom, and his dad's got out of the shower, and he actually like, saw his dad naked, and how that traumatized him. I mean, it would, it like, would traumatize me, too. This is like, is your dad could, was one of the people who could turn to a shark? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, uh... Like, it, you accidentally walked in and your dad, and he was, like, being a shark person, you know? <laughs> like, a third transformation? That would traumatize you. I mean, I... Like, uh, I think it would be traumatizing to see them... Uh, but the question the now is, like, can you turn to a shark person? Is this, is this a genetic thing? I mean, that kind of depends what the world you were building in. And also, not the world he, we're talking about here. <laughs> Well, uh, the first one looks like a, a convict, <laughs> probably in the Russian mafia. <laughs> the second one looks like horrible. He looks horrible. I'm mainly afraid about the fact that it still has his nipples. Um, <laughs> the third one, you kind of photoshopped that. That's a really bad drawing. But uh, they got better ones. The third, the fourth, the fourth one. Uh, I, don't, I don't really know what you. The need. fourth one was supposed to be like a megalodon type the, shark. But quite frankly, I don't even know why they have rule of cool. Like, I always think the rule of cool is almost a little bit unnecessary here. I like the rule of cool. I like the rule of cool too, but I like it in small secessions, but whatever. And well, demands rule of cool but only in concentrated doses. Well, you can have so much cool until it gets really stupid. And I feel like Megadon is almost too stupid. Yes, because the, the dinosaurs... Question, the, the, que- the question is, <laughs> what's the second one for? The second one is just to scare children. Well, because- I mean, if I saw that down a dark alley... I, I'd yeah, be like running. The, the third one would do it just fine. The second one just makes you look like a, a freak. Maybe it's for when... Honestly, I'm not sure. Why would you use that one in this context? What's, what's it good for? Scaring children? Like, the other half forms have the benefit that they can usually pass as human, but there's no way in a million years that is passing as anything but a horrifying abomination. I don't think any of the half forms could pass as human. I don't know, um... I mean, like, the... Yeah, no, that doesn't pass for human. But, um... Maybe, like, maybe, like, the werewolf one could pass for, like, a kiss fan, but, like... <laughs> yes, as we all know, all kiss they're fans. They're not humans, though. <laughs> like, yeah, kiss, kiss fans yeah. aren't humans, like, K-I-Z-Z. No, they're, they're not, you're not humans. Okay, so now that you've seen all of them and their interesting appearances, um, what do you think, which one was the best, in your opinion? Um, well, my favorite is the crow one. Respectable. Just because I like the crow people. I love crows and ravens and, I guess, blue jays. Well, I guess blue jays are a little bit more butthole-y. Um, uh, the coyote ones are kind of lame because they don't really look like coyote people. Like, coyotes kind of look a specific way. And they don't really look like coyotes that much, you know? Yeah. Um, I guess the spider one was pretty freaky, you know, pretty cool. Yeah. 
I like the spider one. I uh, don't like the fox one. I, I just don't like the way it looks. Not because it's, like, gross or anything, necessarily. I just don't like... The little design elements kind of ruin it for me, but I like the way the... 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 The, the, the fourth design looks. Yeah. But, um... So, I guess I'd say my, the best one overall, though, is, um... Shark people. <laughs> shark people! Don't mention them for the entire listing of which is best at something. Then so as the shark I mean, like, people. objectively... I mean, I want uh, me a shark. It kind of kind of overall worked the best, but you know, yeah. Spider Field pretty horrifying. The bear one is a tiny bit underwhelming, but you know, it's kind of original. Kind of mm-hmm. bigoted though. Like, uh, <laughs> Emma. The the the, 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 the word dragon lizard people. I'm not feeling those too much. Well, the tackle name is the Mokea or the Dragon Kings. Ooh, not English, but uh, yeah, that's pretty cool, I guess. I like the rat people, though. I like their little spine. <laughs> Emma wants to be a rat person for Christmas. No, I want to date a rat person. <laughs> Listen, rats are very... That re- is going in the rats, thumbnail. Rats are very resilient creatures, <laughs> and they have a lot of children, and they have big homes and lots of families. Yeah, and they're also definitely they're very, going on the thumbnail. And they're very nice when they're pets. De- de- hey, listen, listen, they carry diseases, but it's not their fault, you know? <laughs> well, I mean, in lore, they actively spread plagues. Well, it doesn't mean they all have to. Yeah. Emma Emma wants to play a game as rat people who fight plagues. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. By being the biggest rat. And she sounds like it's a kind of, like, bigoted species for Mark um, in their world. Like, no, sorry, not in their world, but in my hypothetical world, it's yeah. kind of like... Can't some people can? It's like a racial thing. In my hypothetical world, <laughs> like it'd be, Actually, it'd, it'd be like it'd be like. So you don't even know what people's like forms are usually because they won't yeah. even just tell you. Because why would you? You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like a, pri- like a slightly private thing, you know? Yeah. And and, and and you you're a scientist and you're in college and you're like learning to be a, a official official scientist, right? Chief you know? officer of lycanthropy. Right, and you're like learning how to like, you know, cure certain season, right, you know? Yeah. And you find out one of your co-workers is a rat person, <laughs> and you walk in the, and you're like, rat person, huh? <laughs> and they're like, F you! Like, uh, if, 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 like I said, it's a racial insult. That actually isn't a question, though, is if you, if we, if, if there was a world, or our world had be, where certain groups of people through genetic whatever could turn to rare creatures, especially if this started during the Stone Age, like this wasn't like something that happened like last Tuesday or something, that would have a massive effect on history because they would be so much more powerful than the average human. Like, what's a Stone Age human going to do against a 10 foot tall, massive shark person? My main question is, my main question is. My main question is, if you had rabies, if you, like, if you got rabies when you're a person, but you can turn to a shark person, yeah. when you turn to a shark person, do you keep the rabies? Rabies wear shark. Is there anything more horrifying? <laughs> don't, don't say it. Don't say it. No, no, I'm trying to think about how, I mean, obviously, if you shot a wear shark in the, or shark in the chest, they're going to die. Yeah. I mean, we know this because we, sh- we shot sharks before and they die. Yeah. That all these creatures would die by being shot. I mean, I think that the least vulnerable ones being shot... I, thought, I don't like a spider thing where they can like turn to a bunch of thousand little spiders. It's really gay. It's also horrifying. There should just be one little tiny spider. <laughs> 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 one spider. I mean, they kind of all like that. It's more like they control a hive mind network. I would just have it to where they're one tiny, very vulnerable spider, but if they bite you, you die immediately. That's act- they actually kind of have that ability. No, no, but like you're just one spider. Oh, well, anyway, this is that was the app. I hope you. I'm happy to have you on this video. I'm now the um, a- alien ASMR police are now hot on my trail. So, um, Emma, you might want to get to the escape pod. <laughs> Yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed this video, um, and I get, you start running, start running now. Ah! I'm gonna get my gun. Mm-hmm. See you next time. Do you? Hey, why don't you hit that sub button? You're gonna become a subscribable. Get to see my content quicker. Wouldn't that be nice? I bet so.